Okay, so judging by the title, you can probably guess. This story time um, is about me getting uh, pooped on, to say the least, okay? Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Leave a like on the video if you do, and let's just jump into it. So, today's story time is about the time my girl punched me in the face. I'll elaborate, because there's a lot more to it than just that. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Leave a like on the video if you do, and let's jump into it. So today's story time all takes place in 2016. Now, on this day, it was my good friend Kyle's birthday, which was pretty cool because, you know, birthday parties are always fun. I love going to birthday parties. And he was having a huge party at his mom's house, and his mom was letting him use the entire house and backyard for the party. So it was going to be a pretty big one, which was going to be cool. Um, and I was dating this girl at the time. We'll just call her Alexis, okay? Me and Alexis had been dating for about four months at this point, and... Uh, Back then, as a teenager, four months was pretty serious, and um, honestly, it's pretty serious in general. Like, if you're dating someone and you can stay on them for more than a few months, odds are it's going to go pretty long usually, right? Yeah, it, my relationship didn't, but, you know, usually you think it will. Anyway, yeah, me and Alexis had been dating for four months. Things were going pretty good, and I had planned on going to Kyle's birthday party with her. And uh, fast forward about a few hours later when the party was starting, Alexis showed up to my house, she picked me up, and we went to the party together. Now, upon arriving at the party, uh, things were great. Things were really fun. Kyle's party was off to a great start. A lot of people there that I knew back from high school, um, just from my city in general. Alexis was having a good time. Everyone was just enjoying themselves, right? Well, fast forward about two hours into the party, uh, your boy, a.k.a. me, uh, got a little bit too high, okay? Now, I didn't even smoke that much at this time, and I don't really like to drink either, but I was like, you know what? It's a party. Um, I'm in the mood to do something, and I don't want to drink because drinking just makes me really sick. So I smoked a little bit. I smoked a blunt between me, Alexis, and my friend, and because I had no tolerance at the time, uh, I got a little bit too stoned. Just, you know, just a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean that uh, it felt like everything in my body was vibrating, and uh, I was on the verge of a panic attack. So yeah, I wasn't a little bit high. I was very much stoned out of my goddamn mind. So stoned, I remember at one point, Alexis looked at me, and she was like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, why Why don't I seem okay? And she's like, you've been staring into the same spot in the grass for like 10 minutes. And in my mind, it had only been like 10 seconds. So I was like, oh shit, I'm like actually really kind of out of it right now. Anyway, like 20 minutes later, I kind of snapped out of that. I started to feel a little bit better. And me and Alexis just were enjoying the party again, having fun. And then, um, out of nowhere, I don't know whose idea this was, I don't know where they came from, but somebody brought out some boxing gloves. I think they belonged to Kyle or something, I think they found them in his garage, and uh, people started to play box, like they were boxing each other just in the backyard, and people were kind of getting their ass kicked, I can't lie. Like, even if you're play fighting, it usually leads to someone getting a little bit hurt, and yeah, people just started straight up boxing in the backyard. And I don't know how, but about 10 minutes after people started to box each other and, like, you know, fight each other and shit, uh, it came to me. Somebody passed the gloves to me. It was like, Austin, get in the ring. Come on. And I was like, no. And my homie Josh was like, come on, dude, get in the ring. And I was like, bro, I am too high for any of this right now. He goes, that makes it even better. You'll fight even better. Come on. And I'm like, I can't. He's like, why not? Come on, man. And I was like, first of all, I don't want to. Second of all, I don't know anyone to fight. Like, everyone that I know has already kind of been in the ring, so why would I fight? And Josh was like, oh, true, true. And then out of nowhere, Alexis speaks up, and she goes, I'll fight you. And I was like, Alexis, no. And she's like, come on, like, it's just play fighting. And then Josh and everybody else in the party starts speaking up. They're like, yeah, yeah, it's just play fighting. Like, come on, it'd be so funny. And I'm like, nope. And they're like, come on, don't be a Debbie Downer. And I'm like, bro. Someone's going to hit someone too hard, and then someone's going to get pissed off in the end, and I want to deal with that. And uh, they just kept pushing. They were like, no, come on, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. And even Alexis was like, yeah, no, like I can take a punch, like come on. And I did not want to play fight my girlfriend, because even though it was quote-unquote play fighting, they were boxing gloves, and if you hit hard enough with boxing gloves on, that shit fucking hurts. And I didn't want to accidentally hurt my girlfriend, or have her accidentally hurt me. I just didn't feel like dealing with it. Well, unfortunately, like a few minutes later, uh, they convinced us to do it. Um, I just figured, you know what? I'll pop the gloves on. I won't even swing. I'll just let her beat on me for a little bit. It probably won't hurt at all. She won't go that hard. It'll be fine, right? I just figured, you know, give people a show, not actually hit her, because I don't believe in hitting women. I'm sure most of you agree. 
Anyway, uh, about five seconds into this play fight, uh, I throw like a fake punch and I don't hit her at all because like I said, I wasn't going to hit her. Um, and then she swings back and hits me right in the side of the head. And I was like, ah, fuck. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry. And I was like, you're good. And, uh, you know, we just keep going at it. I'm like throwing fake punches. She's throwing a couple fake punches. She throws a couple real ones in the mix, hits me like in the arms, in the chest. Didn't really hurt that bad. Like I said, she's not like, she's not built like the rock. Okay. So she doesn't really have the strongest punches. So, you know, I'm having fun, we're having fun, the party's cheering us on because they have something to watch. And then, sure enough, she throws another punch, and she hits me in the fucking face. And it kind of hurt, I can't lie. Definitely did not feel good, she hit me right in the nose. And I was like, ah, damn. And she's like, I'm so sorry, like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. She's like, I keep trying to aim below the face, but I keep accidentally hitting you. And I was like, it's good, just try harder to not hit me in the face. And she's like, here, here, have a free punch. And she points at her face and tells me to punch her. And I was like, no, I'm not going to hit you in the face. I'm not hitting you, period. And she goes, wait, you're not even trying to hit me? I'm like, yeah, no shit. Why do you think I haven't landed a single punch? And everyone at the party's like, boo, boo. And I'm like, you guys are fucking awful people. And she goes, no, fuck that. Like, equal rights, equal fights. Come on, hit me. And I'm like, what did you just say? And I started laughing because it was the funniest sentence I've ever heard in my life. But I was like, no, I'm not hitting you. And she goes, hit me. And she grabs my arm and like, punches herself with my arm and I was like okay fine but I'm not going hard so fast forward the bell rings again and by the bell I mean my friend Josh going ding 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 and uh we continue to box and I throw a couple very light punches and land them like on her arm and a couple on like the side of her shoulder and we're actually having fun like things are going completely normal like we're just play fighting for real we're not like actually trying to beat the shit out of each other and then in the midst of our uh, play, fight, boxing, whatever you want to call it, um, all of a sudden, I hear one of the people at the party yell out, everyone move, move, move. And I'm like, what? And I see red and blue lights pulling into the driveway of Kyle's house. And I'm like, oh shit, the cops are here. And I'm sitting there, stanced up with my girlfriend, boxing. I'm like, okay, well, this won't look good to the cops. So let's just, let's just take these gloves off. And I take them off and I throw them on the ground. And so does my girl. And the crowd starts to disperse and kind of run away. And, like, some people are running away. Some people are walking away. Some people are just staying put because they don't really give a shit. They know that they're not going to get in trouble because we're all, like, young teenagers and it's not their party. Um, And me and my girl start to walk away because we don't want to deal with uh, the cops seeing us box. And as we're walking away, she looks at me and she's like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. Let's just get out of here. Like, I don't want to deal with the cops. Like, I just want to go home. And while we're walking away, we pass by Kyle And he looks like he's having a panic attack because, well, he probably was. It was his party and the cops showed up. And uh, his parents weren't home, by the way. They left him alone to have this party. And uh, he had to talk to the cops himself, which really sucks. And I'm trying to, like, calm him down. I'm like, dude, you're going to be fine. Like, just go talk to him. You'll be good. He's like, bro, can you just, like, stay back and talk to him with me? Like, please. And I'm like, dude, no. Like, I don't want to do that. I'm sorry. He's like, bro, come on. Like, you're one of my best friends. Like, you're the only person I trust. Like, come on. And I was like, dude really like you can't talk to him yourself like just literally tell him you're having a party and that it's over now and that your parents are good with it he's like nah man come on just talk to him with me and i was like damn it fine so me and my girl turn around we follow kyle to the front yard the driveway where the cops were parked they're out of their car at this point we walk up to them and uh one of the cops was like all right who's throwing the party who is it and kyle's like it's me sir and he's like you know how many noise complaints we got on the way here four We got the original one, and then we got three more on the way. And my friend's like, I'm sorry. Like, don't worry. It's over now. Like, it's all dispersing. It's done. And the cop's like, cool. Uh, You got any parents here that I can talk to? Because the cop just knew. Like, the cop already knew we were underage. And Kyle's like, unfortunately, no. Like, they're out for the night. They're letting me have this party here at the house. They're not going to be back to the morning. So it's just me. And the other cop interrupts him, and he's like, wow. Like, they left you here alone? You got some pretty cool parents. Mine would definitely never let me do that as a kid. And we just all kind of laugh. And the other one starts talking again. And he's like, well, listen, uh, you got any alcohol here? Anything you shouldn't have? And uh, we definitely had things there that we shouldn't have had at our age, such as alcohol and a little bit of the the marijuana. And Kyle's like, no, we did have some earlier. I won't lie to you, officers. But whoever brought it took it home. Like, they're gone now. And the officer's like, really? And then he looks at me. And keep in mind, I look stoned out of my mind still. Like, even though I'm feeling a little bit better, my eyes are still beet red. I look like I'm on another goddamn planet. And so does Alexis, honestly, because she was smoking too. And she doesn't have much of a tolerance. And uh, 
he just points at me and I was like, um, yeah, no, he's right. Whoever brought it took it home. And the cop just laughed. He's like, <laughs> okay, whatever you say. Listen, guys, I'm not here to bust you. I'm just here because we had noise complaints. Is the party over? And Kyle's like, yes, it's over. He goes, okay, good. Because I don't want to have to get another noise complaint. Because if I do, then we're coming back. And we might bust you, okay? And we're like, all right, all right, sir. Yeah, sure, sure. And we're like, all right, cool. Have a good one. And they turn around. They got back in the car. And they left. And we went back to the backyard. At this point, pretty much everyone had left. I think there was like maybe five or six kids left. Um, and they were just kind of sitting by the bonfire. And uh, we just pretty much cleaned up some of the trash and then went inside and had the rest of the party a lot more low-key and in Kyle's house. And yeah, the whole night just felt like a fever dream. Like, went from boxing with my girlfriend to uh, the cops pulling up and us trying to escape them to us being questioned by them. It just, it was not a great night, but it was also kind of a great night. The only downside to this was uh, for the next two months, while me and my girlfriend Alexis were still dating, every time we'd hang out with any friend from that party... They'd be like, yo, Austin, you got your ass kicked, bro. Like, she fucking knocked you in the face like three times. And I was like, come the fuck on. Like, stop. I wasn't trying and you know it. They were like, nah, dude, you got your ass beat by a girl. I'm going to be honest. I kind of did. We don't talk about that, okay? Anyway, yeah, this was just a funny little crazy story, I think. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like on the video. I'd really appreciate it. Don't box your girlfriend, even playfully. Someone might end up getting hit in the face on accident and that shit hurts. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. Feel free to leave your story times in the comments down below. And subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys all later. Peace.